Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is talking about a wonderful alternative to your default Windows File Explorer. Here we are on the Windows partition on my laptop. Now, before you get too freaked out, I do have to use a couple different applications that are Windows only, such as a ArcGIS Pro and a couple others for school. And being that I'm in this ecosystem some of the times, I do like to configure and change whatever possible. Right here, this is File Explorer. This is your default regular Windows File Explorer. Uh, you've seen it, it's lacking tabs. I mean, it's generally a nice UI, but for the upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, you think they would have done something better. And that is where this application right here, Files, comes in. So let's go ahead and give this an open. You can see just one thing that you'll notice is it kind of looks like the uh, deep end default view when it comes to how the folders look. Kind of cool, but the main thing that makes this an absolute game changer for me is the tab support up here. Something that is a common thing in Linux, but for some reason Windows has yet to figure out is a absolutely essential feature. Now, before we completely deep dive into this, I just want to show you the GitHub page real quick. If you go over to the link in the description, you could check out the GitHub page. If you're on Windows currently, you could go ahead and open up the Microsoft Store and get it through there. Or, of course, you can build it from source and all the instructions are going to be right here on this GitHub page. As well as a list of all the features, uh, links to documentation, to your prerequisites, and all that kind of stuff. Their description of files is a Windows file manager powerful, yet an intuitive design as features such as multiple tabs, panes, columns, and shell extensions within context menus and tags. And in addition, there's going to be a link in the description to go ahead and get all the different themes and stuff that we're going to be diving into in just a sec, right after I thank the sponsor of today's video, Linode. If you go ahead and go to this link right now, you can get a $100 60-day credit to go ahead and try out Linode today. It, anything that you need a Linux server for, Linode is going to be awesome. Whether if that just be standard website hosting, you need to host your projects on it, you want a Nextcloud server, game server, just about anything, Linode is going to be a wonderful option for you. Plenty of one-click installers to get anything up and running with ease, fabulous customer support. Right behind me, I have a home lab and anything that I don't want hosted in there, I use Linode for. And better yet, once again, use the link, get that $100 credit, you might as well. So with that, back to files. This is a beautiful application right here. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. Again, that will be linked down below, but this is files right here. Now the UI is gonna be very familiar. A lot of the icons look the same. So if I go ahead and open up Windows Explorer right here, you can see even some of these like cut, copy, paste buttons right here are basically the same, but following a slightly different color scheme, depending on the color scheme and theming that you pick within the files application. If I go ahead and go to a directory that I know has a good amount of stuff in it, such as my downloads directory, this right here is the default view. It is the list view. But if you come over here, you have a couple of different options. We have our selection options. So you can easily select all, invert selection, clear selection. So if I selected this and I wanna select everything but this, I could easily go over here invert that selection, and there we go. Just a lot of little features like that that make this awesome. At least the location of these features are rather intuitive. Right here, you can sort, group by, sort by, all that. Typical stuff that you'd expect right here under layout. This is some of the nice things. Just overall, the UI is outstanding. We have the layout details, small icons. We could go large icons, for example, and that will make everything look like that. Here we have columns, so if I go ahead and open up this, I can open up this and I can see everything that's in there. This is actually, ironically, I clicked on the uh, the source code for files. So this is all the, or at least the entire release from their GitHub page. So if you do like working in columns like this, this is a wonderful option for you. I'm gonna switch back to that later, but for this video, I'm gonna switch this back to, let's go details. And of course, right here, we could show hidden items or show the file extensions. So if I didn't want to see that, I could disable that really easy. Right here, if I click on these three dots, it gives us a couple more options so I can open in terminal, which is nice. So we have the enter compact overlay, which will just make the uh, window incredibly small. Uh, let's get out of there. So we exit, and a lot of these do have uh, hotkeys. So you can see if I do control, alt, and down, it's going to switch back to what I was looking at before. Over here are our favorites and all that fun stuff. And a lot of this you could go ahead and hide or get rid of. Uh, for example, if I didn't want to show network drives, I would just hide the network drive selection there. 
with a simple right click. And then of course up here, I could click this to go to specific directories. I could search my file system. Up here, like you saw in the beginning of the video, this is where I could go ahead and do new tabs. Obviously, Control T, Control T, Control T, Control T. We can open up new tabs with our hot key. So let's close some of these out. Next to that, we have the vertical tab layout. So if you wanted to see a good list of all your tabs, you could click on that and close them out and easily see and manage them through the vertical option. Now, one thing you may notice on this kind of home page here, which shows us our uh, main folders and some of the drives and whatnot, we have a little manage widgets option. So if I selected that, we can show the folders, drives, so you could disable drives and all that if you want to. You have the recent files. I can enable the bundles widget. And then from here, I could go ahead and add a bundle. I'm gonna call this testing for now. Confirm that. And then with the bundle created, I could go ahead and I'll go over here. I could rename it, remove it, or of course I can add an item, file or folder. So let's say I want to add a folder. And so this is the regular uh, Windows Explorer. So let's see if it's gonna let me add a shortcut to my drive there. So there we go, Synology Drive. If I open that up, there we go. So, so some pretty cool stuff that you could set up in here, especially with these bundles. Like for me personally, I would set up a projects directory or a projects bundle of folders, and then maybe like shortcuts to various backup or media directories, things like that. But so one thing that you guys are gonna really like here, if we go over to the settings, which if you, you didn't see, it's right up here next to search, click on that, we have a lot of different settings and preferences. Now, a cool thing is we have our themes. First thing, we have color, so you can force it between light or dark or just go with the default, which is your system theme. And right here under custom themes, I already went ahead and added all of the themes that were available on your GitHub, and it is pretty easy to go ahead and customize and modify these. But you can see right here, I'm using the default. If I wanted to, I can switch over to luxury red. We have the matte dark and gray. We have solarized. There's a lot of different options when it comes to the color schemes and exactly how you want it to look. I really like this glass one right here. It adds a little bit more transparency. It looks really good. Actually, let's go ahead and stick with it for the rest of this video. Just a little uh, pro tip here. If you go to, where did it go? If we hit this little I right here, so learn more about custom themes, you can open the themes folder. This is your actual themes folder here. And I'll link directly to the GitHub repository. So you can just go ahead and download all these, drop the themes into the themes folder. And that's how you get all these. Otherwise, the only option you'll have is the default selection. So with that, let's go ahead and reopen our settings and check out some other options. We have our sidebar here, so you can enable or disable various items that are on your sidebar. If we go up to preferences here, we have our language date format terminal applications or application, and you could set which one will be the default. Windows terminal on Windows 11 is actually really nice. If we go under files and folders, here are just a lot more settings and options that you could go ahead and run through and customize this exactly how you would like. Under multitasking, we have options to enable dual pane, open new tabs in dual pane mode. So let, let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh let's check out what that looks like real quick. Right, so I've enabled it, and if I open up a new tab, you can see now I have two side-by-side -side dual panes. So instead of having to go back and forth in between tabs, even, you could just have both things within the same window. So let's say I want to go to my downloads directory over here. I want to go over to my documents over here. You could slide this over to change the sizes. Overall, this is really cool. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm actually gonna disable that for now. For me, honestly, the uh, just having the tabs alone is fantastic. And then they have some experimental features that you could go ahead and enable if you'd like to, such as uh, showing the folder size and setting files as the default file manager. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, test that out. It's gonna do a registry editor or registry, edit the registry. So hopefully that works fine. I haven't tested it out. I've just been opening it down here. And then of course, under about, we have the versions. So we have the latest 2.1 version, which was released a couple days ago. So again, on that GitHub, you'll see a full change log of all the new features. And we have options to manage settings and things like that. Overall, this thing's awesome. You can see how beautiful it is, especially with this glass theme. Now, one thing I forgot to mention real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the video files I just recorded. Let's go ahead, go over to home, go to my videos, and let's drop them in this project. Look how awesome this uh, file transfer status thing is here. You can see cost, copying two files, 7%. It is beautiful. Uh, yeah, that's it. I am really liking it. And if you are stuck in a Windows environment or like me, you need to dual boot into it every once in a while. It just adds, makes it a little bit better. So before we end off here, let's see if that, uh, that worked. So let's do a new folder. 
Yes, or y'all, uh, open that up. And yep, there you go. It opened up in the new files application. So perfect. Uh, big thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry it's not Linux related. I know some people are going to be uh, uh, not as happy about that as others. But I just thought it was worth mention and worth showing all of you guys. It's open source, so at least there's that. Uh, big thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Uh, thank you to Linode for sponsoring the channel, sponsoring this video. You guys are awesome as well. And with that, I do hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos like this. Mostly Linux, but occasionally some Windows stuff here and there. Uh, yeah. Peace.